Yo, what is going on my YouTube people? This is Gavin Assidy here again with you for another video. And last week I did kind of a tips and tricks video to help you get a little bit better at Siege, hopefully. And today we're going to be going over my in-game settings for Siege on PC. Now, similar to the video I did last week, a lot of you guys ask what my game settings are on Siege during the live streams over on Twitch. So that's what I'm going to be bringing you guys here today. So this video will be a little bit on the shorter side since I am just kind of going over my in-game settings. But with that said, let's get into it. The gameplay is pretty much standard. I don't really change much with that. If we go into the audio, I just kind of have it mixed to how I like it. I put it to 90%. I turn the music down a little bit so I can try to hear the in-game voices a little bit better. Dialogue at 100. So for the dynamic range, I do use hi-fi. I've seen some people use TV and that they say they like it. I've tried it for a little bit, but ultimately went back to hi-fi, and that's just my personal preference. Um, chat volume 80, that's just pretty standard. Voice chat record 100. So one thing for the voice chat record threshold, if you're having a hard time in-game and people are saying your mic isn't working, usually this will be set to 100. If you turn it down to either 50 or 1, you shouldn't have any more problems with people being able or not being able to hear you in-game. And then if we go to display settings, I use my 144 hertz monitor. I have it set to 1920 by 1080 full screen. And there is a little bit of a restriction that I have to use for my specific setup. I do have a i7-6850K 6-core processor. And for some reason, I don't know exactly what it is. Siege isn't really compatible with some of the 6-core processors, and you get insane micro stutters if you go more than 120 hertz. I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about in a moment with some of the benchmark settings, but normally you would play at 144 hertz. I personally have to play at 119.98. I use 16 by 9 aspect ratio, and again, I have to use V-Sync, the one-frame V-Sync, otherwise I get really bad micro stutters, and the game is pretty much unplayable. It's kind of weird because it wasn't originally like that up until Velvet Shell was fine. As soon as Velvet Shell dropped, I don't know if something was in the update, but I just get really bad frame setters if I do not use 120 hertz refresh rate and one frame V-Sync. As for field of view, I play at 90. This is just going to be one of those things that's kind of personal preference and you're going to use uh, pretty much what you like. 90 works for me, so I use that. As for the graphics, the kind of thought behind having really low graphics in general, I have very low graphics settings, and that's just to get as many frames as I can out of the game, and in my case, get the least amount of frame stutters, because if I use higher settings, I might get more frame stutters. So I play at high texture quality just because I like how the game looks. I prefer it with a little bit better texture qualities. I use 16 times texture filtering, and then pretty much everything else is at low or off just to squeeze out as many frames as possible. Now in the recent update with the anti-aliasing, there are now these render scale sliders as well as TAA sharpness. However, I play with TAA off. I just like how the game looks like that. If you turn it on, it looks kind of fuzzy. Um, if you do turn it on, you will probably get better frame rates, so having it off can sacrifice frames. I do have a pretty good setup. I do have a GeForce 1080 Ti, so in most cases I can handle it. Not everybody will be able to, so you might have to turn it on, but that's kind of what these sliders are for, so you can get uh, it to be more sharp and not so fuzzy. Now, as for the control section, I'm just going to go over kind of my sensitivity as well as some of the key bindings I have. That's another question I get commonly. My in-game sensitivity is 20 horizontal, 20 vertical, and then 60 aim down sight. My mouse is set to 400 DPI. And then as for gadget, I use advanced, so that's going to allow you to hold the button down to push down a gadget and not just be automatically stuck in the animation. And then for some of the controls, I use the side buttons on my mouse to help lean, but I also use Q and E, so I kind of switch between the two. I don't really have one that I use more than the other. And then I use C for crouch, control for prone. I know some people use different buttons for those, so I use that. And then as for my gadget buttons, I use caps lock as my primary gadget and then middle mouse as my secondary. That's just because I like being able to throw C4s or your other gadgets with middle mouse since I have a hard time stretching my fingers out and hitting G or something like that. 
but that's pretty much all I have for controls. Those are the only kind of different things that I might have than others. Everything else is pretty much standard. So the last thing I wanted to really show you guys is the benchmark settings and what I'm talking about with my processor and why I have to use kind of a weird setup in terms of using V-Sync and 120 hertz refresh rate. I don't know what it is about my specific processor. I've seen on Ubisoft forums and also Sergio, another YouTuber and streamer who had the 6850K 6 core processor and he had issues with it. Basically, if you have 144 hertz and no V-Sync, you get horrible micro stutters where the game feels like it's dropping down to like 3 or 30 frames, something really bad, but your game is displaying it at normal frame rates. So assuming I didn't have this micro stutter issue, I should be able to push 180, 200 frames very easily on this game. But for whatever the reason, uh, since Velvet Shell, it's just been a issue and there hasn't been a full fix with it. The way to really limit the micro stutters is to put the refresh rate to 120 and the V-Sync at one frame. Now, other than that, really the graphic settings, those just to get as many frames as I possibly can out of the game. So if you're looking to get you know higher frame rates and a smoother gameplay experience, put your settings on low. You might not like how it looks. That's kind of why I put my textures on high rather than low. But uh, I know some people who don't have the best computers, every frame is gonna count in terms of helping get a smoother gameplay experience. But with that said, that will pretty much wrap up this video. I really hope you guys did enjoy it, and I hope it helped out a little bit, at least. And if you did, please make sure to hit that like button. I greatly appreciate the support. Also, feel free to comment anything you have down below, as well as if you are new to the channel, do not be afraid to hit that subscribe button. And as usual, you guys have a good one.